Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Mackenzie and today I'm going to go over some tips and tricks to help you through dance team tryouts. Um, I went into dance team tryouts my freshman year with no previous dance experience and I did make it on. So just to reassure you, if you are a brand new dancer, if you don't know anything about dance, it is possible to make the team. So don't get discouraged if you don't know anything because you're going to go there and there are going to be girls who are amazing but they're also going to be beginners too. And the thing they're going to be judging on and really looking for is sportsmanship and character. So technique is a huge part, but that sportsmanship honestly is probably like 50% of tryouts in my opinion. Um, okay, so to let you know how this video is going to go, um, I'm going to split up the video in several different sections, so I will put the time down in the description below. Um, so I'm going to jump right in, um, experienced dancers, probably want to skip ahead, new dancers, stick with me, and let's begin. So I'm going to go through a list of things I think you should know before trial. Um, a lot of dance teams require, well, some dance teams require um, moves or dance techniques before coming in to tryouts. So, I think the top three things they're going to say you need, some dance teams, I know there's a high school um, near me that requires these girls need a flying disc turn, which I've never been able to do, <laughs> um, but some dance teams do. So make sure you know those requirements, and if you don't know what those moves are, it's okay if you can't do them, um, but you should at least know what they are so you can try to do them during tryouts because they're, they're going to see you try and they're going to appreciate that you did try and you didn't just give up and be like, oh, okay, I'm out of here, I don't know this, I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, so I've dragged this long long enough. Alright, so your basic jazz steps you should know. A pas de beret, which is similar to a cross ball change, a chasse, a ball change, um, you should know a chenet turn. And if so, a step up from those, those are pretty easy, more like footwork, you should know. Um, other things definitely that you're going to have to do with tryouts, like 100%, um, is a leap, a double pay or a grand jeté leap, double pirouette. Usually, most dance teams require a double pirouette. It's okay if you can't do a double, you have the whole summer to practice that. So, um, what else? or your fuetes. So fuetes are pretty tough to do. I didn't get my fuetes until my sophomore year, personally. Um, so if you don't have it, it's totally okay. But at least know what they are. Um, other helpful ones. Let's see. Um, some teams will do different moves in the dance you might learn during tryouts, like a fan kick, a tilt, a calypso, a second position leap or a center leap, or a switch leap. So I will put all the names of those moves in the description below as well. So if you don't know what one of those were, you can search them up in Google. Um, Google has some awesome videos, and, you know, YouTube has some awesome accounts and dance videos that will show you how to do each one of these moves. And even if you can't do them, like I said, it means you know what they are. Um, so you can try and do them. So the other thing I recommend doing is to get as flexible as possible for tryouts. Um, I don't believe during the team tryouts I had to show them my splits. You definitely stretch in your splits during tryouts, and I'm sure they'll notice. They'll notice how far you are in your splits. Um, but again, you're gonna have the whole summer to stretch and practice your splits and turns and all that kind of stuff if you need to. Um, so your splits is probably your main goal for dance team, and there are other YouTube videos as well that can show you um, stretching techniques for your splits that I would search up as well. Um, so what I'd recommend, maybe before or after school, once you get home, warm up for five minutes, stretch for your splits, and if you have hardwood floor or maybe you have a wooden board in your garage, um, I did for some reason, I don't know why, bring it downstairs or bring it in your basement, practice your turns, 
um, Patrick Leaks and Chaussings and Calypsos and anything you can. Okay, and the last thing I can do would be to talk to other members of the team. Um, ask them how they did their freshman year, or you know, how they felt their first tryouts. They'll give you a perfect rundown of how their tryouts went. And, you know, they might be able to tell you a little bit more about the year. Um, it's, it's really helpful. I didn't have anyone to talk to, honestly. Um, but those girls will know how you went and you know what to do and what not to do during trials. So they're great. They are a super, super good person. Sorry. Oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna move on. So those are your basic things you should know before trials. Dance, dance techniques, dance moves, get flexible, and talk to other girls to get a little more insight on the team and what they're wanting to see from the trial. Okay, so this is the night before tryouts. You've done all those three or four things, and you don't know what's where, and you don't know what's bring, and you're really nervous for tomorrow. Um, so here's what I go over before the tryouts. Okay, so number one, you want to prepare some kind of outfit for the week. Um, some dance teams have specific guidelines for what they want you to wear, but let's see. Okay, I, I wrote this like a year ago. I have like a whole list of things. You can see them. Um, but I'm just gonna read off what I said. Okay, so my recommendations from a year or two ago when I was uh, on BST, a loose fitting t-shirt, tank top, jazz pants, or yoga pants if you don't have them, athletic shorts, and no booty shorts or spandex, silky shorts, or and jazz shoes, jazz shoes for sure. Okay, so if your outfit is really up to you, they're not going to cut you off the team because of your outfit, but from what I've heard, most teams don't want girls to be wearing booty shorts or spandex the, during tryouts. Um, I would recommend jazz pants. If you don't have jazz pants, that's okay, wear yoga pants, um, but jazz pants are, are more of the dance style yoga pants. Um, and then, yeah, any kind of loose fitting t-shirt. So you can wear a basic cotton tee. I'm wearing one today. Um, or you can wear, you know, a tank top, a cool flowy tank top. Um, but don't wear anything too distracting. Don't come in in like a sparkly, fancy bandeau because it's, it's not a fashion competition. Um, they just want to see how you work along with the other girls and how well you can dance. Um, and definitely bring jazz shoes. If you don't have jazz shoes, um, I don't know, I'm guessing you could bring sneakers. I think sneakers would be fine if, they, if you don't have jazz shoes. But if you, if you are a dancer before and you're wondering like, should I wear foot undies or socks or you know, any, any other kind of thing, wear jazz shoes. They, they're not going to slip across the gym floor, whereas some of those shoes, at least I've experienced, do. Like, you don't want to show up in these really cool socks you have, but oh my god, they slip across the entire gym room floor, and now you can't dance the whole day because you're slipping everywhere. So just wear jazz shoes. They're easy, and they're going to be just your go-to shoe during the dance. That's usually what you wear during your dances, during assemblies and competitions. Um, have your hair up and out of your face. I wouldn't recommend even putting it down. Um, I would recommend just a basic ponytail. If you want to spice it up, you know, add some character. You could add in a braid right here. Or something fun, maybe a ribbon. But, like, like I said again, it's not a fashion show. They just don't want your hair in your face when you're trying to dance because, I mean, even, even being the dancer, it is really annoying when it's your braid is like smacking you in the face every time you try and turn. So you want to eat a good breakfast or lunch, whatever tryouts are. Don't don't starve yourself during the day. I don't know, I've never seen girls do that before, but it's not gonna matter what you, what you eat for, but you wanna have some good food in you, you wanna be drinking water throughout the day because you don't want to get busy or tired during tryouts. Because tryouts can be pretty tough and pretty tiring. I think I was sore the next day after my dance team tryouts. And last thing 
bring a water bottle um, and extra hair ties and bobby pins just in case your hair falls out, if your hair tie breaks, or if any other girl's hair tie breaks, it's really nice um, to have someone there who can lend you a hair tie. Um, and for sure bring a water bottle, like I said. You can even bring a snack if you want to, but don't be snacking in between, you know, in between tryouts. You're going to notice because they're going to notice that, and that's not professional. That, if you have all that knowledge before the tryouts, um, if you know, if you're prepared, you've got an awesome outfit, um, and all that kind of stuff, um, you're going to be prepared. And all you can do now is go to tryouts, be nice and friendly, and try your hardest, and see what happens. So, last thing I have is a little segment for during the tryouts. Um, if you want to skip ahead, you totally can. I'll, I might have some extra things at the end of this video. Um, but I'm just going to go into it. So number one, I have 12 tips for before the tryouts. Um, 12 quick tips. I might have already covered some of them in the video. You can skip ahead if you want. Um, you're not going to miss much. So number one. So like I said before the tryouts, you want to be prepared. So I don't think I need to go over that again. Just know everything you can. Um, know what trials are, obviously. Don't don't come running in late from working out of the gym, or you know, don't come talking to your cell phone, and, and just just be prepared. Show up five minutes early, stretch a little bit, talk to the other girls. It'll be, it'll be totally fine. <laughs> Number two, I sort of talked about this already, but show up on time early. Um, a lot of dance team teachers, well, at least my dance team teacher was like five minutes. Early is on time. So if you're four minutes early, you are late. Like you're literally late. Um, so even if you're the first girl there, be at least five minutes early, just so you can settle in, set your bag down, stretch something you want to, anything, anything you want to get done before the tryouts. They're gonna notice that you got there early, and, and they're gonna be impressed. Number three, um, be nice. Say hello to all the girls trying out. No one likes the girl who thinks they're better than them and doesn't talk to anyone. And if that makes sense, you know, I when I went to the dance team, I was the little freshman who wasn't too popular, and the only person I talked to was my old best friend for fifth grade. And she was so nice to me, and the other freshmen were nice to me too. But the other freshmen didn't make an effort to talk to me at all. Um, so if you are an upperclassman coming to try out, just make sure to be friendly to everyone. Even though you're an upperclassman, you know, you're a senior and this girl who's not that great at dancing as a freshman, be nice and friendly to her because she is she's probably terrified coming into these because she doesn't know what to expect. Um, you know everyone's nervous and everyone's scared. So just be as friendly as you can, and you know, you might make your new best friend from tryouts. You never know. Okay, number four, smile and look like you want to be here. I think this one is so important. Um, if you've ever been in a dance class and you're learning a routine for recital or competition, the number one thing your teacher is going to tell you is either smile or have emotion. Um, I think all dancers forget about this, but if you're that dancer who smiles the entire tryouts, they're going to notice, and that's definitely going to be like an extra step up from the girl who might have amazing techniques but doesn't smile at all. Um, what else? And yeah, so look like you want to be here. Smiling is going to do that. Don't, don't sigh and don't try not to yawn. You know, if you're tired from staying up late for an essay the night before, you can't let that stop you from, you know, being prepared for trials. Five, so listen and pay attention. I think this goes without saying, even if you have a bunch of friends going into trials and you want to talk to your friends, listen to your coach and try and get the most you can out of trials. If you miss like half of this dance step because you were talking to your friends, that's not what you have time. Try and get a new learning. It just doesn't help you. So make sure to pay attention. It shows them that you care. So. Um, okay, so number six. Don't put that bad body language like crossing your 
your arms or you know putting your hands on your hips and like sighing that kind of stuff. Um, it goes without saying too. It just doesn't look as as good as someone who's sitting up straight and smiling and nodding when they say you understand. Um, so just make sure you look friendly and you look nice. Number seven, don't try and look overconfident. Um, so this one sounds sort of mean, but I think even even you going to try out, you sort of notice those girls who look like they know everything and are super confident and they have to be up front for everything. And they're, they're always first for across the floor. And it doesn't really bother you a little bit. You're like, okay, we know you're good, but I also want, you know, you also want to get up there and be first once in a while. So just, just remember that you don't have to be the center of attention to get the coach to notice you. Um, but at the same time, don't exclude yourself and stay in the back. Make sure, you know, create a balance. So make sure everyone gets a chance to be in the front, but also make sure you give yourself that time to be the center of attention and, and show them what you can do. Number eight, don't talk to the coach teaching. I already talked about that. That's very important. They're going to yell at you for that, I'm sure. I've definitely been yelled at for, for talking when my coach is talking. I think we all have. <laughs> so. Okay, number nine. Don't form a click with your friends. And this doesn't really happen in tryouts, but um, I think one of my best tryout experiences was during cheer team. After, after tryouts, before all the girls were trying out, we all sat together in a circle and just went through the circle. We each said our name or like you know, our favorite food, and we all just talked and exchanged phone numbers. And it was a lot of fun. It, it just already showed me how great the team was going to be and how great all these girls are. So as much as you want to just sit there with your two friends in the corner and talk about how nervous you are, like make an effort to talk to everyone and introduce yourself to all the girls because they're all so nice and friendly. It's, it's going to help you in the long run too when you make the team and you already know all these girls' names and can make connections. Okay, number 10, so be positive, and this is super important, just the whole time. This goes, you know, very similar to smile the whole time, present great body language. Just be positive and upbeat the whole time. If someone falls during a turn, you know, ask her if she's okay afterwards. Um, and if you're the one falling, don't be embarrassed because everyone falls. I, I still remember I fell twice during one dance class, and it was the most embarrassing thing but I, I just laugh it off, like, everyone's gonna fall once in a while. Just get back up, get on. It, it gives everyone a good, good laugh, you too. So, okay, 11. So, like what I just talked about last time, don't show that you're embarrassed, go on. Um, I still remember one of my dance coaches or dance teachers, one girl, every time she messed up, would make a face or, you know, sigh. And, after a while, you start to notice that, and you're like, okay, you just showed me that you messed up. You know, if, if you didn't do that, I wouldn't have known you messed up. So, no matter how many times you might mess up, don't show them that, because they might not even notice. If you just smile and brush it off, they might just think, oh, it's, it was supposed to be there, so. Okay, number 12, practice good swordsmanship. So, for example, after tryouts, um, tell them good job, be nice, you know, give them a high five or something, I don't know. Um, but just make sure to be that girl that everyone walks home and is like, wow, like, that girl was so nice to me, I hope she makes it on the team. Um, so yeah, okay, so those are 12 quick-ish tips I had before tryouts, before and during tryouts, basically. So overall, just practice good sportsmanship. Um, I'll, okay, I'll stop here for a second, give you a breather, go get a snack or something, um, and that's that's all I had overall. Um, if you want to stick around for my other tips, I'll ramble on a little bit more. But it's probably gonna be a pretty long video, so I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> all right, so the last part. Um, just my final little 
good luck to you. Um, just don't be afraid going into it. If you're a new dancer, I was too. I was in the same position and even if you don't make it on to the team your first year, that doesn't mean like you need to stop dancing. It doesn't mean that you're a terrible dancer, that you have no talent. Like, you know, everyone, everyone who auditions is in a different spot dance-wise. So maybe, maybe you didn't on because you didn't have those leaps. So, you know, take that criticism and practice it this whole year. Like, join a dance class or get some private lessons and next year come back and just blow everyone out of the water. Um, one thing I believe in is that <laughs> everything happens for a reason. So maybe you didn't make the team this year, but maybe instead you're going to take an art class and realize like you absolutely love art and you want to practice art more. So maybe, maybe this year was just a year to get you to practice dance more and you'll find the competition team at, the, at whatever dance studio you're at and you'll join that instead and have a blast. So if you make it, congratulations, you're going to have a great time. If you don't make it, it's okay. The world is not over, I promise. <laughs> um, so, the last thing I want to say is just try and make the best of, if you make a team, try and make the best of it. Um, I struggled on my dance team for both years. Um, our dance team was very clicky, and it was, it was a bummer. Um, I didn't feel close to a lot of the girls, except for my friends who had, you know, I had came to the team I had come to that team with those friends and I stuck with them, but I didn't feel comfortable talking to the other girls. So even if you're just, you know, the little freshman on the team, like say suggest to the coach to have a team sleepover or team bonding time before practice. Because it is a really good idea. And if you want to have a great year on the dance team, you want to be friends with everyone. It's so nice to have such a special connection with everyone on the team. Um, yeah. So that's all we have for you guys. If you want me to answer any more questions, put them in the description below. Yeah, you know, that was a mouthful. Um, I hope I cover everything. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, but if you're trying out, good luck. You're gonna do awesome. Um, you're, don't feel intimidated by the other dancers. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys next week. Um, my video is gonna be a little, little different from this one. This one was only for dancers pretty much, but I'll do something fun next week, like 10 Netflix movies you should watch, or a beauty routine, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. Bye!